some really cool products I wanted to show you today. I've got my cold brew carafe, but first we're going to start with the new canisters I just got. These canisters are really nice because they have a little window on each of them and that will help you so when you start to run low you know that you need to go to the store and get some more and they have the airtight lids so everything will stay fresh in those and i'll show you i'll take the lid off that in a little bit because we're gonna need some coffee out of there all right our craft i was so excited to get this this is cold brewing easy fun i love it all right it has a little lid on top and the lid just simply sets on top it doesn't screw on or anything so you take your lid off and this part here actually when you go to let it drain this guy will set right on there so you don't get a mess on your counter which is really cool all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our coffee and we're going to try not to make a mess scoop it in this first line here is for ready to drink coffee and if you do up here this will make a concentrate so you just pour your when you do your concentrate that means you can just use half cup half of the con coffee concentrate and add water for the rest and that way you get double um, coffee uses I personally like to do just the regular and that's about perfect and I don't know if you can see I can show you my window on here a little bit better now can you see and then I can put the red up there from the scooper there you go so you have your window so I know anyway I can tell by looking at it I need to go buy some more coffee and we're gonna put our lid back on it's on there nice and tight all right so now you've got your coffee ready you're gonna put that back inside your carafe and I'm gonna use bottled water normally I would use the sink but today we're just gonna do it for the sake of being easy and you're supposed to use coarse ground coffee and I just use regular it works pretty much the same to me One more. We're going to need part of another bottle here. And we're just going to pour it in until it gets to the top fill line. There you go. And you can kind of see if you look inside, the grounds are floating up to the top and they'll kind of settle. And what you do with this now, you put your lid on it and then you'll put it in your refrigerator for 8 to 12 hours. And then when you wake up in the morning, you'll have your cold brew coffee already. You can add creamer to it, sugar, whatever things you like to put in there. You can even use those flavored syrups and whatnot. And also in here, you can do iced tea. Now when you're doing the iced tea, if you use loose leaf, you only fill it up to that halfway mark because the leaves will expand. So you don't want them coming out the top. You can also put six to eight tea bags in there and do your cold brew tea that way. You want to make sure that you never put any citrus in here because the craft will crack and the acids will damage your craft. So if you want to add lemon, lime, any kind of citrus to your tea, do that afterwards. And so we're going to put this in the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow I will do another short video and show you how I make my coffee. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.